Hi, my name's Tony, and I'm going to teach you how to play an RPG game with just playing cards. This game is a team-based deathmatch game with four players, two teams of two trying to kill each other. I'm not going to lie, this game isn't easy. You need to be patient, you need to love RPG games, and you need to love card games. It's hard, but once you learn, it's definitely worthwhile because you're going to be able to utilize those strategies to dominate the other opponents, alright? Okay, let's begin. Alright, so first off, everyone will start off with 13 cards, so let's pass. Base. All right. So first off, let's talk about the damage you can take. All right. Everyone starts off with zero. We're all at zero damage. Um, but as the game progresses, you can begin taking damage from you know other players or the fate deck. All right. So let's pretend I take damage. Oh, I'm taking a queen of damage. That's ten value. So if I take this queen, of, then I'm gonna place it down here in my damage meter, okay? So right now, everyone is at zero. Everyone's at zero, and I'm at 10, okay? As the game progresses, I'll be taking more damage in the form of, these are called damage cards. And as I take them, I'm gonna place them face up above the previous damage card, okay? You must constantly keep them on top of the other previous one, that's important. Order is important for damage. Okay, so that's the damage meter. Alright, let's go over the layout of the game. So, we, you know, decide how you want to go first. You can roll dice, flip cards, whatever. Let's pretend I get to go first. Alright, so I'm going to flip the Fate deck. Okay? This Fate card is going to take effect on either myself or everyone around me. Once its effect has been finished, it's my turn, and I can draw two cards. Okay? Now I can do five things. I can either attack, I can put down buffs, I can use buffs, I can play fate cards from my own hand, and I can use my own class ability. Alright, so let's go over attacking first. So attacking is pretty simple. So first off, let's say I want to attack um, this fool over here. I'm going to name out a combo number, alright? Combo numbers consist of one card, two card, or three cards. Okay? And the, 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 combo, the combo values are pretty much in order of poker hands. So one card would be a single card, two cards would be a double, three cards would be three things. It could be a pair and a kicker, that's, that's two cards of similar value, and one random card. You can have a straight, which is three consecutive cards. You can have triples, which is three of the same card. Or, fourth one, I forgot this one, you can have a straight flush, which is a straight of the same value. Okay. The reason I switched the triples and, and straights, and I mean trips higher than straights, is because there's only three cards, so trips have a lower probability. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I'm going to attack this fool with my three cards. Let's look at my hand, okay? Let's see what I have here. What can I attack him with? Hmm. Uh, oh, I see a straight. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, for the record, don't ever read out your combo hand like that. But I just did. But, uh, okay. So I would be like, I'm going to attack you with three cards. BZ. Bam. All right. And now this guy, let's get my damage cards out of the way on. You can do two, you can do like a bunch of things, but he would probably defend with three cards. Alright? So the winner of the hands, let's let's say we flip our cards, okay? Alright. Obviously mine's higher. I have the straight right here. This guy has a pair of threes and an eighth. So I win. If I win, he has to take the top discard into his damage meter. Alright? Now Let's pretend 
let's pretend that uh, instead this guy decides to oh I'm only gonna block with two alright how this works is he's gonna take oh sorry he's gonna block the two highest cards of my combo he'll block my eight and nine and he'll take my seven and queen into his damage meter okay now if he chooses to he can whoops let me organize all this and this is my eight Ooh. if he chooses to he can block with just one card he would just block the highest one and take these two into his damage meter okay now if he decides to block with nothing he's gonna take all these suckers right up the butt boom oh sorry that's kinda of vulgar sorry he's gonna he's gonna take it yeah boom takes all those hits okay wow I sound like Mr. Garrison okay anyway um that's attack system once I'm done attacking, I may draw one card in my hand. Now, there's one law that you have to remember. It's called Law of the Low. This means that lowest cards will always be on top. So, for example, if he took my whole hand to his damage meter, the 7 would always be on top. Okay? Or if, we disc if, I, if he blocks two of my cards, my eight and nine, eight and nine with three and eight. He would put the three on top of the discard, appertaining appertaining the queen, of course. Okay. All right. So that's attack system. Um, the next thing you can do is play buffs. So uh, let's see what I have here. All right. I'll explain buffs more in detail later, but for now, buffs are usually royals. So I'm gonna put this buff down. And this buff down. Yes. Okay. A third thing you can do is use your buffs. Okay? You can use them, you can use all your buffs right away. Unless, of course, they take one turn to use, which I'll go over later as well. So I can be like, BAM! And something will happen. Woo! Okay. Fourth thing I can do I can play fate cards. So you know how I've been flipping, you know, in the beginning of my turn. I've been flipping cards like this, and it'll affect everyone. I can actually grab fate by the hand, or hand, no, grab fate by the neck, and control it myself. So I can be like, bam, I'm gonna affect all y'all. All right, that's a fate card. All right, and the last thing you can do is use your class ability. Now, class abilities depend on obviously what class you are and you can only use one ability once a turn okay alright so that's all that's the pretty much that the, the layout of the game alright let's go over fate cards okay so there are three different kinds of fate cards there's AoE fate cards choice fate cards and luck fate cards AoE fate cards when they're flipped they affect everyone okay However, when they're played from the hand, let's see, play this one, Reign of Heaven, I can choose it to either affect my opponents or myself and my teammate, okay? Now the Choice Fate cards have one rule. The Choice Fate cards always have the rule of two. So if I flipped the Choice Fate card, I could pay, you know, two cards to utilize its ability. Or, if I played one from my hand, I would only have to play that card along with one discard to use its ability because I'm paying two still. Okay? Rule of two. And the last one is the choice cards. That one's pretty much luck. You either get something good or you get screwed. Okay, so let's begin explaining each fate card. Alright. First off, we have the two. The two affects everyone. It's an AOE card. So everyone loses a card. So, oh, no. Everybody is sad. Okay, that's the 